This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Cha with this ABC 10 News update. The rollout of the coronavirus vaccine is giving scammers a perfect opportunity to take advantage of those who are desperate for relief. UCSD experts say they have been monitoring scams related to the pandemic since March and have seen several vaccine related scams in recent weeks. Some ads online claim you can buy the vaccine while experts say you cannot get the vaccine online. That is not the real deal and could potentially be unsafe. They say if you're looking for info on vaccines, go to government websites. In California, a tool is being launched to help slow the spread of the virus. It's a smartphone app that UCSD helped develop. It's voluntary and anonymous. It uses a phone's Bluetooth technology to sense when two phones have been close together for an extended period of time. If one of those phone users tests positive for the coronavirus, anyone who may have been exposed will receive an alert. iPhone users, it's already on your phone if your software is updated. Just switch it on with exposure notifications under your settings. Android users, the app is called CA Notify and it's free. The city of San Diego officially has a new mayor, Todd Gloria, sworn into office this morning. The ceremony, which also saw the swearing in of other city officials, was held virtually. Gloria is making history as the first Filipino, Native American and Latino to hold that office. He's also the first openly gay mayor of the city. He says his goal is to help every San Diego person here have an opportunity to thrive. All right, let's check in with Megan Perry to talk about this cooling trend that we're experiencing today. Megan. It definitely is cooler outside. And when that breeze comes on in, it's pretty brisk, at least by San Diego standards. And compared to where we were on Tuesday, the warmest day of the week when we had low to mid 80s, today temperatures are generally in the low to mid 60s for the coast and inland neighborhoods, anywhere from about 15 to 22 degrees colder than just two days ago. And today is about five to nearly 15 degrees cooler than just yesterday when a lot of the county was in the 70s. 60s for the coast today, mountains will be in the mere 40s with the deserts in the 70s and gusty winds will target the mountain and desert areas today and tomorrow. Westerly gusts of 30 to five to 45 miles per hour with isolated gusts potentially all the way to 55 miles per hour. And the marine layer turns tonight, we actually may be able to squeeze out a little mist out of those marine layer clouds. Virginia? Thank you so much, Megan. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.